What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive 2v2 gameplay on the map Octane. And yes, I know I'm a little bit special. I have bullet penetration on this gun. Uh, this was when I was practicing getting used to it because I wanted to use it on freight, and then I decided to just go ahead and keep it on for Octane or something. I don't know why. Whatever, don't judge. But uh, basically, guys, today is going to be the first video in a series of videos on how to start a successful YouTube channel. Um, right now I'm thinking there's going to be at least three parts. First part is going to be all things you need to consider and get done before you even start your channel. Then initial things for once you start your channel, different settings you need to equip and things to optimize your success. And the third part will probably be what needs to be included in your introduction video or your first video. So getting into it, the first things. Um, the very first thing to remember is that YouTube is not about the money, and if it is for you, you are probably not going to be very successful. Um, this is not something that many people make money on. I mean, yes, you can make money fairly easily off of it, but actually making a profit is another story. And to tell you why, I will go into the equipment that you need. So first thing is you need some sort of capture device, um, assuming you are a gamer. And this is probably going to cost you about 150 to $200 to get a decent one. Uh, the ones that I would use would be an Elgato or an Aver Media. Um, I've, both, I've used both of these personally. These are the ones that come the highest recommended. They both have some issues. The Aver Media has a blue ring of death, and the Elgato sometimes just wigs out on me. But um, in general, they usually work out pretty well. They're, very few have defects, so they're a good buy. Next thing is editing software, and this can cost anywhere from nothing to like $700, $800, depending on what you've got. Um, to give you an idea, my editing software is about $30. Bucks. Um, it's pretty cheap. It's called VideoPad, and you can get a free demo. Um, and by the way, all the things I'll be talking about, I'll put links to in the description throughout the series, so don't worry about that. Next thing is your mic, and your mic needs to be something pretty good you don't want those basic mics because that's going to turn people off of your channel you're going to lose subscribers views and likes so i would go for at least a snowball mic which is what i'm using right now or use your astro headset if you've got that um and if you can get a wind cover um i'm not using one right now but i'm keeping the mic much further back and i'm playing with the audio settings in my editing software so it makes it sound okay um you could also go for something like a Blue Yeti, which is a little more expensive. So pretty much anywhere from $50 to $150 is what you should be planning to spend on a mic. Uh, next thing is your computer. And this could be pretty expensive for you if you don't have one that works right now. You need one that is going to be able to handle all of your software. So I would recommend at least 8 gigabytes of RAM. And I would recommend at least a terabyte of um, hard drive space. And if you don't have those things, if you have a desktop... You can buy more sticks of RAM and get them into your computer, and you can look that up and how to do it. Um, and for if you don't have enough hard drive space, you can always go and buy an external hard drive and get some extra memory space in there. So moving on from the equipment, um, when when do you know when to start a YouTube channel? And I would say if you're a gamer or more specifically a Call of Duty gamer, now is a very good time to start one because you want to start your channel before the new title comes out so that you get an initial audience base and fan base and you also get that little bit of experience and that can really help you kickstart once Advanced Warfare comes out. Or if you're into other games, you know, just starting a month or two before the next title comes out is always a really good time to start up. So keep that in mind. Next thing is you need to figure out what types of videos you're going to be doing. Um, so assuming you're a gaming channel like me, you know, pick out, okay, I'm going to be doing pretty much only Call of Duty videos, or I'm going to be pretty much doing only Destiny, or I'm going to be doing um, a bunch of different games, things like that. you got to figure out what you're going to do ahead of time. Next thing is your target audience. So for me, my target audience is competitive Call of Duty players more specifically, and then in general gamers. Um, and my age range is usually going to be anywhere from about the age of 10 to the age of 25, more normally between the ages of 13 and 18. That's the more specific age range. And so I have to tailor my videos to that. I have to, um, you know, I want to make sure I don't 
say things that I wouldn't want younger audiences to hear and I also have to keep it interesting for the older audiences as well. Next thing is planning on your style. What kind of style you're going to do? Are you going to be raunchy? Are you going to be dirty? Are you going to be more professional? Are you going to be silly, organized, disorganized? You know, how are you going to format your videos, things like that. You need to plan this out ahead of time. And of course, remember, you can always tweak things as you go along once you get started. Uh, next thing is you need to remember that you're going to have to connect with your fans. And so you need social media accounts and give links to them in your descriptions and in your videos, things like that. You also need to figure out how much you plan on connecting with them. Are you going to play games with them frequently? Are you just going to reply to comments and questions? things like that. Also, you need to figure out an upload schedule. Please don't be like me and say you have an upload schedule and then always go off of it because you will lose a lot of subscribers that way um, and you will get inactive subscribers. So please, please get an upload schedule and stick to it. Next is before you ever upload, you need to practice speaking. So write out some points or whatever or pretend you're going to make a video and see if you can do it. Try and keep keep out things like ums and uhs and spaces, things like that. It can be difficult for some, but it's always good to practice a little bit first. Next is to have at least 10 topics planned before you ever make your first video. And this is important so that you know that you have enough initial material to start talking about before you ever get suggestions from other people. Because if you want to start a YouTube channel but you can't ever think of anything to do or talk about, then it's not going to be very successful. So. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, the next part will be more specifically on w what kind of settings you want your YouTube channel to be and how to initially make it and things of that nature. Um, I will, in the future, after this three-part series, I will probably make some more videos on more specifics on some tips and tricks to get your YouTube channel going and growing strong. So look forward to that in the future. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.